สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Kitchen with Linda ค่ะ Today I'm going to share with you a very simple traditional Thai recipe นะคะ That is deep fried purple eggplants. Normally in Thailand we eat this uh, deep fried purple eggplants uh, as a side dish นะคะ With chili sauce a uh, corn น้ำพริกกะปินะคะ That's made of chili, shrimp paste, garlic and also the uh, lime juice นะคะ But today I'm going to share with you How to make these deep fried purple eggplants at the appetizer, นะคะ So you can have it with the s i l a c h a sauce, นะคะ So I hope you will enjoy it, ค่ะ And let's go and take a look at the ingredients, ค่ะค่ะ Detail ingredients of this the deep fried purple eggplants. Of course, I have three eggplants here, fresh. You can use the green eggplant for this recipe, นะคะ And I have cooking oil, two eggs. Flowers, นะคะ I use the Thai flowers. It's called rice flower, but you can use cornstarch. Or you can use all-purpose flour for this recipe, นะคะ Or you can use it when the Japanese tempura. And uh, I have here s i l a c h a sauce, นะคะ As a dipping sauce, นะคะ And over here I have the sea salt and also fresh pepper, ค่ะ So details ingredients for this recipe, นะคะ Will be listed down below, นะคะ The preparation for eggplant before you cut it in a big bowl like this, you have to fill with cold water, นะคะ And add some sea salt in it, just like this. The reason we doing this is because of when you cut your eggplant, you have to put your eggplant into this uh, salt water to prevent the meat of the eggplant to turn dark, นะคะ And it's not um, look appetizing, นะคะ But if you can eat it, it's edible, but it's not look appetizing. And then I'm going to cut the eggplant, นะคะ This is how I cutting it, นะคะ So I'm going to cut the sleeve off first. This is called the sleeve of the eggplant or the skirt of the eggplant, that we call in Thai. And I'm gonna cut it. It is cut it the strip, n like this, nah. This is how I cut it. Huh? Then you dip it in here. Okay. Then you cut the second one. That's it. Let it soak here for a couple minutes, นะคะ and then we can deep fry it. Okay? Preparation for the flowers. So I'm g o i n g to add the flour on the plate like this, and a little bit of peppers, little bit of the sea salt, นะคะ and I'm g o i n g to add this panko, นะคะ this is the uh, tempura, นะคะ I'm g o i n g to add to a uh, like this, and you stir it. I mean, mix it. A little bit more. Oops, messy, messy. Then that's it. So here you go, นะคะ Put this one aside. For the eggs, นะคะ What I'm going to do is just just crack the eggs and then put it in the bowl like this, นะคะ I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt to the eggs. Just tiny bit. Yeah, that's it. We are ready to go and deep fry purple eggplants, ค่ะ Turn on medium high heat on your stove and then add cooking oil. We had to add about uh, three cups of cooking oil to make sure that cooking oil cover a purple eggplant. While you are waiting for your cooking oil to heat up, you have to prepare the eggplants by coating them with flowers and the eggs, just like this, ค่ะ And when your cooking oil heats up, นะคะ so you can add these purple eggplants into the hot oil. Be careful when you add it to the hot oil; you don't want to burn yourself, นะคะ When you are adding your eggplants in a hot oil, นะคะ make sure that the eggplants is not going to clumps together, นะคะ 
and deep fry your eggplant one and a half minute on each side นะคะ or until it slightly turn yellow ค่ะเดี๋ยวคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้งแล้วคุณดูคลิปอีกอีกครั้ง The plate that lined with paper towel, นะคะ to absorb the oil, and then you can do the next set of the proper eggplants, ค่ะ Here you are, นะคะ your deep fried proper eggplants, and it's ready to be served, ค่ะ If you like this recipe, please click like, share, and subscribe down below. นะคะ You can also leave your comments down below. ค่ะ Thank you for watching. ขอบคุณมากค่ะ And bon appetit. ค่ะ